course is titled Digital Applications for Fashion Enterprise. This course is situated in the Bachelor of Fashion Enterprise and it's part of their second year course. There's all, already all of these terms, mixed reality, augmented reality, virtual reality. So I kind of focus on the AR aspect in this course. We try to incorporate the digital in the physical space. So we create a digital product, we create an augmented reality experience, which can be experienced in a physical space. Students in this course are in their third semester. Most of them are local students, along with some international students. When they come into the course, they have been introduced to basic um, Adobe softwares and they know how to create CADs and create patterns. When they start this course, they hardly know what augmented reality is. They hardly can differentiate between digital and physical. Um, differences and the digital, the combination of digital and the physical. This is an area where we um, get them to experiment with different um, softwares, different digital tools, making them more digitally adept so they can bring in the knowledge that they've learned in their first year and take that further to evolve into uh, their final year projects and then into the industry. Coming into the course, they choose a brand, they look at their ad campaigns, their brand ethos. So that gives them an idea of how to stay within the brand essence. Then coming back to creating the 3D, they would source 3D assets from within the Adobe stock uh, range that we have. They could choose um, garments, but we had limitations on the assets that we could use um, and because we are a fashion-based program. We don't really have coding experience. So it's more about how they use the tools available to them to create a concept that can be further refined if needed later on. So they choose assets, 3D assets, they bring it into Stager, use Illustrator to create patterns, which they then apply into the models or assets in Stager. They also uh, apply lighting, they apply different textures of materials. If they don't have the materials that they want to use in Stager, they also create their own by scanning an image in Photoshop and then bringing it into Stager. So they create the product and they create a range of different products and they create a mock-up uh, of the whole setting with the three or four assets. After they've created the whole product and brought it into Aero, they create this augmented reality, which is all about experiential marketing and how consumers can experience that product in their own space. It's more accessible as well to a wider range of people who may not be able to go out into the shop or it could be something that consumers experience in the store as well. It's a course that gives them creative freedom uh, within, of course, a limitation of the assessment criteria, but everybody is quite happy with what they've created. There are challenges along the way, and I think um, the great thing is that they overcome those challenges because they, they can see how amazing the end result is. This assessment um, helps students to critically analyze uh, the digital content in the industry and also to engage critically with it. Augmented reality can be applied in the whole you know, fashion industry supply chain. And to think about it in, in an ethical way, we can reduce sampling. So that's one of the ways of how we um, try to think of the benefits of using a 3D object and in an augmented reality experience. So that way clients can also understand how the product looks and feels before they actually go out into sampling and producing. In the future of um, the fashion industry, such an application plays a very crucial role. There are new things that we need to introduce to students. For example, at the moment, we're using uh, some of the softwares to use and create um, 3D assets of fashion accessories. But I think that needs to evolve to create um, digital garments, which is one area that I'm exploring at the moment, using other softwares such as Clo 3 d to create a 3D garment um, with an animation and how that can be then brought into Stager to create a setting, for example, a shop front or a shop interior or um, a runway setting and bring that into an augmented reality experience uh, for consumers before they get to the real product.
This absolutely achieved the intended uh, outcomes of getting students to understand new emerging technologies in the industry and not have a fear of learning how to experiment with new technologies. Because I think to adapt in the workplace, students need to be more aware and also be ready to experiment with um, technologies that are evolving at such a rapid state. Because this is part of a core course, all of these students are exposed to these technologies and this also enables them to use that in their capstone projects where students have applied these um, skills and created augmented reality experiences for industry partners. Students have really loved using um, new technologies. They would love to engage more and to have another course in their third year, uh, which engages more in depth uh, some of these technologies. Some students have also used it in their visual communication electives. It's really heartening to see how they have applied these skills across the university and also in the industry as well.